All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn basic JavaScript by building a role playing game. Step 126. All right. So we can make an else statement conditional by using else if. So here's an example. We have uh, if num is greater than 10, we'll do something. And then else if num is less than five, we'll do something else. Uh, usually there's also an else at the end of this, but sometimes there's not. Uh, so at the end of our if statement, we're going to add an else if statement to check if monster health is less than or equal to zero. Uh, and in our else if call, uh, we're, pardon me, in our else, pardon me, in our else if we're going to call the defeat monster function. All right. Uh, so we're going to do else if like this, and then we're going to have the parentheses and we're going to say if um, monster monster health is less than or equal to zero, what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to call the defeat monster function. I don't know why it's not just called win, but whatever. Uh, and we haven't made that one yet either. Just a little thing, all right? Uh, Text-based games, all this stuff, there's nothing new about any of these things. Uh, and the thing is, especially seeing that Monster Health and Defeat Monster haven't been uh, even declared yet, this has kind of given us a false uh, sense of, of how to do things, right? So in my opinion, as, as we remember at the beginning, we declared all these things and then we declared all this other stuff and declared and declared and declared. Uh, in my opinion, the best way to go about this stuff is to meticulously plan the thing out uh, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the semicolon and then uh, put these things, put down everything that you need to do. Like first start with the let's, then go to the cons, then make the uh, objects, then make the functions, then put inside of here what we got to do and stuff like that. Because look, the thing is, we don't, it's a, it's a horrible idea to try to reinvent the wheel, all right? Because, or try to figure out gravity when we already have whatever the gravity equation is that uh, Newton came up with uh, hundreds of years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, this is a good, this is a good way to kind of learn, uh, but this is not the way we actually want to do it. Hopefully when we keep going on down the line with this uh, new beta program, uh, we'll get more in depth on how to actually plan this stuff out beforehand. Hopefully, fingers crossed, right? But if it if it never does, if it if it never teaches us how to plan, uh, tr try maybe maybe one day I'll I'll make a series on how to plan this stuff out. Uh, once I figure out how to plan things out, and then blah blah blah, you know what I'm saying? But just uh, remember, reinventing the wheel is a horrible thing to do. It's you, it's a huge waste of time because all this stuff is already documented on how to do all this stuff somewhere. All right. That being said, I'm pretty sure this is good. Uh, let's check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 127 and we'll see you next time.